What's up guys? Tim here with Cross Tines. Today I'm going to take a little bit deeper look into what I've learned from my, my whitetail I harvested with my 45 ACP. Uh, so we'll take a look at the rounds that I used for this hunt. All right, so I use this 45 ACP Plus P uh, jacketed hollow point. The Plus P is extra powder and extra powder equals extra velocity. All right, so the reason I went with this ammunition is for starters, it's a hollow point. Uh, to me, that hollow point says more of a hunting type round uh, versus something like a critical defense. You know, that's that's a close range ammunition and it's a, a plus P, which means extra powder, extra velocity. And in my mind, when I hear those two words, I also think extra penetration. All right, so one of my big concerns from uh this whitetail hunt was the lack of the blood trail and from what my research has has come back to tell me a lot of that has to do with the high angle and the lack of an exit and so because i took such a high angled shot down on downward onto that deer um that was more of the chest cavity that had to fill up with blood before i started getting a blood trail and then that round ended up going in getting a double lung ricocheting off of the opposite rib and coming back through both lungs a second time. So I'm going to keep this, this video pretty short from here on out. Um, what I recommend somebody to use this as that setup to hunt deer, I would, I really would, but I would stress that it be more to hunt from a ground blind than from a high elevation uh know your limits know your limits with your ammunition know your your ammunition's limits as well i was not going to take a shot any any further than 20 yards that deer come into 17 and so i knew where my my limitations was on accuracy as well as my limitations on um, the effectiveness of my ammunition after a certain distance so 20 yards i felt 100 percent confident if i'd have took a 20 20 yard shot that i would have harvested and recovered said animal now am i going to hunt with this is that set up again for whitetail probably not but that's just because i'm more into bow hunting uh i mean got the blood pump and put the meat in the freezer the deer went down inside of 50 yards um but I just like bow hunting. Um, so it was something that I'd done more or less at another way to, to harvest a deer. And until you try it, you don't know if it's gonna be your new favorite method. And so that was more what I was doing here was trying a new method of, of uh, whitetail hunting. Uh, so far, archery reigns supreme in my opinion of uh, of how I would rather harvest a, a whitetail. But the whole point of this video was, was gonna look at those key points from uh, from that whitetail harvest. Do I think it's ethical? I think yes, with the, with the practice and the knowledge, it is an ethical hunting instrument. Um, would I recommend it? Once again, with the practice and with the knowledge, yes. Am I gonna do it again? Maybe, but probably not. Thank y'all for watching, and as always, y'all have a good day.